bubbles. Bubble. Hey. Oh, rock on. Yeah. We need to get some bubbly, bubbly. screen captures of this. Can we um, hold the ship? Yeah. Okay, let's zoom in on this. Bubbly. Bubbly. They want to get captures. That's cool. And of course, where there are bubbles, there are worms. Yep. Wow. Worms. That's cool. Oh, worms. There you go. Worms? Give me a second soon and I'll Worms? set it up for you a little nice. Yeah, there's bubbles. Yeah, that's just a lot of them. Wow. So for viewers who may be curious, the bubbles are uh, methane that's um, from the sediments and they're being, uh, they're, they're form solid gas hydrates or clathrates, um, which Look is solid methane. And when the pressure or temperature changes, they will turn into the gaseous state and and rise up in bubbles. There's a lot of bubbles going on here. And that's what these wow. two worms and clams are living on. Or mussels or whatever. Are we noting we have multiple sightings of bubbles? Multiple bubbles. And they're tickling Herc's underside now. <laughs> In leg three of the expedition, we stayed in the Aegean Sea, but headed over to the Hellenic Arc, a submarine volcanic area near Santorini, Greece, and we were there for about 10 days. There we explored four sites looking for hydrothermal vents and taking water, gas, and geologic samples. The first stop was the Colombo Crater, where we found numerous vents, and then we found one small vent at the Santorini Caldera. At the Christiana Domes, we did not find venting, but did get to explore underwater cliffs, 50 to 100 meters high. We also found an amazing tripod fish that walks along the sea floor.